I'm Emmy Alright. I'm an artist based in Leeds and I mainly do sculpture and installation. My practice is really informed by my own identity, which is that that's split between a Middle Eastern identity, like my family are Iraqi, but growing up in the UK, and I guess that kind of dual identity and where that lies. My work is also really informed by um, museums and museum collections in the West, um, particularly looking at how objects have been appropriated into museum contexts and how their stories and their lineage change after being put into museums. I'm really interested in the act of forgery and value in my work, so thinking about when those big objects kind of go into museum collections such as the Lamassu figures or also the Ishtar Gate, how the values of them change when they're confronted with like a Western gaze and what that means for the place in which they've come from or have been stolen from, what that leaves, that residue, and I guess that residue, how that kind of fits in with aspects of like hybrid identity. My practice is often at quite a large scale using materials such as polystyrene and plaster, air dry clay and making objects which are found look like ancient objects or, or things that you might find in a museum. Last year I took part in the Tetley Artist Associate Programme uh, which is a year-long uh, artist development programme that um, is run and championed by the Tetley. The programme really helped me in terms of gaining confidence to reach out to other artists who I had some studio visits with which was incredible and also like using the Tetley Artist Residency space. Um, overall I think that the Artist Associate Programme just helped massively with confidence in terms of talking about my artwork and wanting to be more ambitious or, or trying to realise projects that I'd been thinking about for a while. The exhibition which I'm doing at the Tetley is split between two galleries, so Gallery 9 and the Shirley Cooper Gallery, and the exhibition is called The High Dam. And for this exhibition I've um, created a five metre boat and um, that is a replica of a bitumen boat that was made in the ancient Middle East and was found in a grave. So in the ancient world the graves were sort of built with two different shafts so the first shaft is where people would be put to rest and then a second shaft would be built and this boat was found in that shaft and I think what people are kind of reading in about these boats is that they were acting as demon lures and um, so any kind of demons or people who would be wanting to rob graves would come in and the boat would, would act as a deterrent as it would transform them or, or change them away. The work that I've made for Gallery 9 um, is a series of works that have been displayed before at Two Queens in Leicester and also at Vitrine in London and they're a series of stands with um, polystyrene forms that have been skewered onto the metal stands. It's kind of similar in a way that I, th I guess plays with the idea of preservation of and the conservation of materials and objects that you find in museums but subverting it by like actually damaging those items or those objects onto the stands. There's also going to be like a selection of smaller objects that are on display um, using the kind of armature as a, a method of, of displaying them, playing with the way that museums all seem to have this stock uh, armature that's made out of metal and holds objects in a very certain way, particularly with objects that don't come from the West. I think um, what I'd like to achieve with the work is for people maybe to think about objects in another way, in a different light, and I guess thinking about the provenance of where those objects come from and those histories and how they got to the museums, whether they were stolen, whether they were bought, and if so, why, and why is it important for those objects to be displayed here.